Prime mathematics has been redeveloped to align with the Australian Curriculum Mathematics version 9 and the new New South Wales syllabus. While there are many new and updated lessons to align with the new curricula, the core prime pedagogy is the same. So what's new? There are new student books that include new and updated lessons to align with the new curricula, with two core books at each level. And there is a new digital platform powered by MathPro. And to make it easy for teachers to know what curriculum content is in each lesson, it is identified at the bottom of each page. There is a new scope and sequence that lists the prime topics, units, lessons and objectives first. Then it lists references to the Australian Curriculum version 9, the new Victorian Curriculum, and the New South Wales Syllabus. As with the previous edition of Prime, the lessons model the use of the concrete pictorial abstract approach. and mathematical thinking. And there is even greater emphasis on problem solving and the use of the bar model, which is a feature of the new curricula. The printed student core books are also available with a wide range of digital supplementary and assessment resources in Math Pro. Let's take a look. There are two ways to subscribe to the digital resources for Prime powered by Math Pro. A teacher logs into Prime Math Pro through Scholastic Learning Zone. The first time she logs in, She is given a quick tour of the core hub features and the key features of the hub plus, including the digital assessments and reports and the special accolades feature. Then the teacher selects the level of prime she wants and is ready to start. Let's take a look at the MathPro Teaching Hub. After the introductory tour, the teacher will be taken to her dashboard. Here, she can check or change the prime level selected. Then she may choose the lesson she wants to prepare or teach. The first time she clicks prepare, she'll be taken to the cover of the ebook. On the left of screen is the hub sidebar menu of digital tools. This includes the topic list. which is an easy way to find a specific lesson and go straight to it. On the right hand side of the prepare page is a menu that includes access to the topic overview, printable resources such as more practice, 
extension lessons. Lesson notes. And paper and pencil topic assessments. There is also a link to the demonstration lesson videos in the side menu. And at the top of the lesson page. Then in teach mode, the side menu is removed to not clutter the screen. After the teacher has begun teaching lessons, when she returns to the dashboard, the most recent lesson is listed first. With an opportunity to resume from where she is up to, or go to prepare or teach. So teachers who are subscribed to the MathPro Hub have access to the dashboard, which tracks where they're up to, as well as the prepare and teach modes for other digital resources. Now let's take a look at the Hub plus digital assessment. First, it includes all the access for teachers of the Hub. Plus, curriculum tagged digital assessments, data and accolades for teachers. And student access to ebooks and videos, assigned digital assessments, immediate results and gamification style rewards. When a teacher uses the Hub Plus, They also have access to integrated digital assessment and reporting. At first, there is no data on the teacher dashboard. But the data accumulates over time. The key metrics on the dashboard include the class score, assignment completion rate and the overall level of mastery of students. When a teacher scrolls down, similar to the hub, the prime resource level is identified, as well as upcoming lessons and recently assigned digital assessments. And scrolling down, there is a summary of mastery data by curriculum reference. In this case, the Australian Curriculum Version 9 content descriptions. And for each content description, the teacher can drill down to find a list of students by mastery level. as well as the digital assessments that may be reassigned for the content description after reteaching. Let's look at the way digital assessments are assigned through the assess page. First, the level of prime for the assessments is selected. Then filters may be used to narrow the search by topic or other criteria. Then tiles for the selected topic assessments are displayed. And on the back of each assessment tile are the learning objectives, in this case 
Content Descriptions. To fit with Prime's pedagogy of deep understanding of concepts, there is often an opportunity to extend students. So in many topics, there are assessments at more than one curriculum year level. From the assessment tiles, the teacher may view each individual assessment. By question. Or assign the assessment to specific students or whole classes. A due date for the assignment may also be selected. Then the assignment of the assessment is confirmed for teachers. Now let's take a look at the student experience for Candy Cane in Math Pro. The first time Candy logs in, she is taken on a quick tour. That explains she will earn stars and crowns for her work and also be able to keep track of her progress and results. Next, Candy selects her avatar and the book she is using. Then she is ready to start. On Candy's home page, her data will accumulate. When she scrolls down, she will see an achievement wall where more rewards will build over time. And further down are assigned digital assessments. From here, Candy clicks Start and begins the assigned assessment. She completes a variety of questions that cover the content of multiple lessons in the topic. She may pause the assessment without losing data and resume later from where she was up to or from the start. When she completes the questions, she submits the assessment and rates how she feels before the results are shown on screen. From here, she can see her full results. Or at any time from the results page. Including correct or incorrect answers. Then Candy's home page is updated. with her Math Pro Maths level, stars accumulated for completing assignments, curriculum outcomes mastered, and progress in the month's challenge. For Tammy Taylor, Candy's teacher, this is what her dashboard looks like after one digital assessment has been completed for one student. The same class summary data as the dashboard page shows at the top of the monitor page. 
And when teachers scroll down the monitor page, they see student proficiency by score and mastery of learning objectives for each student. This and other reports are able to be printed and exported. From the student proficiency list, teachers are also able to drill down by student and see the student's overall score and completion rate and overall mastery, which can be drilled down to mastery level by content description. Teachers can also check the results for individual assessments. Starting with summary data, then the results by learning objective, and individual results for each question, including correct answers for errors. Also from the monitor page, teachers can view results by each digital assessment by clicking on work. This lists the digital assessments assigned or completed. And teachers may drill down to results for a specific digital assessment. First, the results are summarised by scores and the number of students who have mastered the objectives. Then the data is reported by student, including their confidence rating, and by score. In the top menu bar, if the teacher clicks on details, They will see the results by students and by question. If the teacher hovers over the question number, the question will pop up. And answers are identified as correct, skipped or incorrect. Also from the monitor page, if the teacher selects the Students tab, they can drill down from the Mastery bar to a class list by Mastery. And from here, they may drill down further to individual student data. Other data accessed from the Monitor page is the leaderboard. It is a summary of the total stars earned by children for the calendar month as part of the monthly challenge. A special feature of the Hub Plus is the opportunity for teachers to assign accolades to students as achievement is not always about correct answers. If the teacher clicks on the heart symbol on the main menu, they are taken to a class list. Here, they may select one or more students. They may assign from the existing accolades or create their own. Then the next time the student logs in, they'll receive their accolade. There are other features and reports in MathPro, but the books, Hub and Hub Plus provide teachers and students with a comprehensive mathematics portfolio for Australian schools.